or welcome to this week's uh, astrolog vlog. We are going to talk about the seven unusual feature hardly ever discussed of the Milky Way. Now, we're obviously going to talk about the seven wonders of the Milky Way because, like many before me, we need to go big or go home. So, in my list of wonders in the Milky Way, um, the first place is occupied by the Sagittarius stream. Sagittarius stream is uh, the only remnant of the more active past of the Milky Way. It is a long, uh, thin um, distribution of stars uh, in polar orbit respect to the uh, plane of, uh, um, of the Milky Way and is what remains of uh, our galaxy cannibalizing uh, uh, a smaller galaxy called the Sagittarius uh, Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy. And that's why it's a wonder for me. It shows how our galaxy evolve uh, eating uh, its companion little by little. The second wonder uh, is for me the, um, the planets orbiting the pulsar PSR 1257 plus 12. Those were the first exoplanet discovered and the fact that orbiting a pulsar makes them quite special. Um, if you followed the blog uh, you might have read uh, how difficult it is for um, to find planets around the pulsar because they're, um, they're born in supernovas. So planets around the pulsar make us really question what we know of planetary formation. Could this planet uh, survive the supernova? Or were this planet uh, further away and after supernova they moved closer to the star? Um, were there maybe planets, broke planets, flying around the Milky Way with no care in the universe and suddenly they got into the gravitational field of the pulsar? Or were they actually form in the supernova explosion? So this is why pulsar planets are definitely a wonder. Um, the third wonder for me is the pillars of creation. And they symbolize every nebula in a galaxy. Nebula are beautiful and fascinating. They are formed by start dying and releasing all their material uh, into the cosmos and also the birthplace of star and uh, this double nature of uh, symbolizing the death uh, and heralding the birth of new s stars uh, it's absolutely incredible and the pillars of creation are particularly special for me um, they are um, structured in the eagle nebula because the weird finger structure depends on um, ultraviolet light uh, eroding, uh, um, eroding uh, the gas cloud. The fourth wonder is uh, the so-called oldest star in the universe. Uh, is technically the oldest star we can see in the known universe but is still quite the record breaker. Um, its name is SM0313 and uh, is only, actually is really close to us, it is definitely in our uh, neighborhood, it is only 6,000 light years away and is 13.6 billion years old. It means that it was formed 100 or 200 million years after Big Bang, so it was there when uh, the first galaxies start forming and that's quite impressive is part of the population two stars uh, which means uh, stars that are almost exclusively made of hydrogen and helium um, with uh, barely any traces of uh, uh, any other element the fifth wonder is the biggest star in the milky way 
Um, its name is V W Canis Majoris. It has a radius of 1,420 solar radii and is 1.2 kiloparsec away from us, about uh, um, 4,000 light years. Is huge. Maybe giving that uh, is 1,420 times the radius of the sun doesn't think, but if it was in the solar system, it would uh, reach beyond uh, the orbit of Saturn, and Saturn is really far away from us. The sixth wonder for me is uh, something that uh, is not too wondrous uh, in the universe at large, uh, but uh, it's not often discussed. Uh, it's the fact that uh, the Milky Way has, uh, doesn't have a bulge at the center, but it has a bar. So the Milky Way bar, which uh, it's quite hard to uh, to Google without finding chocolate, is uh, an important uh, feature, an important structure in the galaxy. Uh, we think bars uh, uh, in galaxy regulates uh, the star formation, regulates uh, the activation of the supermassive black holes at the center, and probably um, balance out uh, where the creation and dispersion the density wave uh, that form the spiral structure of a spiral galaxy. Last but not least uh, we have Earth. So why did I go on the cheesy route and put Earth as the seventh wonder? And the answer is life. We, most people believe that we can find life in the most complex and weird places. We found organic mo molecules everywhere uh, we looked. We found it towards the center of the galaxy, on comets, uh, in, um, in nebulas, everywhere. But so far we found life only here. So it is a question of uh, are we special? Not as human, but is the Earth special? Is the solar system special? And we got some advantages that uh, all the other organic molecules in the galaxy don't have. And this is the question that we need to answer. And this is the reason why we're looking for life out there. Is more how special are we? Now, this is my list. Uh, and... Uh, think people disagree with something, agree with something, agree with everything, disagree with everything, but not even I agree with everything in the list. I think there are seven special features, but if we need to list the wonders of the Milky Way, oh, I don't know, I could go up to a hundred, I could go up to a thousand, it's, there's so much to discuss. A seven wonder list shouldn't be like the seven wonder of the ancient world, shouldn't be something that is mutable. It needs to be something that can be changed every time. Uh, oh, next year there are seven more wonders, uh, seven more interesting things that uh, came out in science, because science is all about um, change, it's all about uh, discovery, it's uh, exploring with what we don't know, challenge what we know, and maybe not seven wonders maybe 99 spectacular features of the Milky Way. And if anyone asks where is the 100, you say, no, oh, we're still looking for it.